Hello, it is Wednesday, August the 14th. We are continuing our daily devotions look in the book of Revelation, chapter 19. And we will be reading verses 17 through 21. And this is the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene. And today is Wednesday, August the 14th. Here's the word of the Lord, chapter 19 in the book of Revelation, verses 17 through 21. And I saw an angel standing in the sun who cried in a loud voice to all the birds flying in midair, Come, gather together for the great supper of God, so that you may eat the flesh of kings, generals, and the mighty, of horses, and of the riders, and of the flesh of all people, free and slave, great and small. Then I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to wage war against the rider on the horse and his army. But the beast was captured, and with the false prophet who had performed the signs on its behalf. With these signs he had deluded those who had received the mark of the beast and worshipped its image. The two of them were thrown alive into the fiery lake of burning sulfur. The rest were killed with the sword coming out of the mouth of the rider on the horse, and all the birds gorged themselves on their flesh. <clears throat> and that is the word of the Lord. Our article today is titled, God's Enemy Permanently Defeated by Lori Ward. I have had a lifelong fear of birds. For me, the trouble is more with their wings fluttering and flapping than it is with their beaks. The peacock character in Kung Fu Panda 2 is, in my evaluation, one of the scariest of all villains. Perhaps you could insert the creature of your nightmares into John's image. Let's face it, the scene in Revelation is just plain gory. It's terrifying. Those of us living contently in a warm or cooled homes, sleeping in comfortable beds and making choices about which kind of food we prefer to eat to fill our bellies, don't know what to do with a critic. Christian image this raw and shadowy. However, there are plenty of our brothers and sisters around the world who live day to day in the ravages of war, under the impression of tyrants, or face to face with the horrors of sins, sin's personification. It is for these enduring ones that we proclaim the hope of Christ. God's enemy will be dealt, with, dealt a final blow. God's justice will make everything right again. Let us carry these beloved ones in our hearts today. Look, you saints, the sight is glorious by Thomas Kelly is our hymn. See the man of sorrows now from the fight return victorious. Every knee to him shall bow. And from the book of Isaiah, chapter 56, verse 1. This is what the Lord says, Maintain justice and do what is right, for my salvation is close at hand, and my righteousness will soon be revealed. And this is your daily devotion for Wednesday, August the 14th. Have a blessed day.